Hi guys, I'm Melissa and I'm back with another video and today it's time for my weekly wrap up and over the past week I managed to finish three things so let's get into them. The first thing I finished was Screwdriver by Alice Clayton. This is the third book in the cocktail series and the cocktail series is was in the first two books primarily following Simon and Caroline and in this one we follow a new couple and we follow Vivian, who is a character we meet in the second book, Rusty Nailed, I think. This old lady passed away and all of her things were going to Vivian. So Vivian decides to go and see what it is and what it is that she's gotten. And she decides to take this place, the location and everything is just how she wanted it and how she a place she imagined she would live one day. And then uh, Vivian is a coder or something of, uh, of a computer software and and but she decides to sell her company to move over there because she was not really into it. She's really good at it but she was not her dream job. So she decides to move across the country and she basically lives her life uh, thinking about uh, romance novels and her head is all the time in romance novels and so she imagines one day that she'll be part of a romance novel and have her own happy ending and so when she gets there she moves to another place and she knows there's going to be some guys and she, this is the perfect setup for a romance novel so yeah um, and then we meet Clark Clark who is a librarian at uh, at this house and he has some ideas he was a really good friend of the woman who passed away so he has uh, promised that he she he she wouldn't let anyone just uh, change everything as they see fit because they want to keep it true to the nature of this house and stuff. Um, but Vivian falls in love with this cowboy called Hank, and then she thinks that is her happy ever after. And as things goes along, you find out that he Hank is probably not the best suitable person for her, and and she starts being interested in Clark, but not in a romantic way in the beginning, at least. And yeah, um, overall, I ended up enjoying it for the most part. But I had my issues with Vivian. I think that she had some issues that. I did, couldn't really um, follow um, when it came to her being stuck in this romance novel thoughts all the time. Uh, it was nice to, to see uh, Simon and Caroline show up in this novel, but I really missed those. I really like Simon and Caroline. So that was also a bit of a difference, And but I overall enjoyed it. I think Clark was some, an amazing character. I really enjoyed him. and. So I ended up on a three and a half stars um, for this book and I will definitely read the last and final book um, sometime soon. The second book that I finished was Rogue Work by Stephen King or Richard Bachman. This is the third novel he published under the Bachman name and it is, I don't know, the next published novel in publication order. Um, Rogue Work is um, difficult to explain because I'm not really sure what the point was of this book. It is following this man who has, uh, yeah, um, he's basically been thrown out of his house and his job where he has his company because there's this no new highway road or something that's going to be built on this place. So they have to tear down his house and use its butt for, for the highway roads. And so, yeah, he already have some issues with things that happened beforehand with he he lost his son uh, to cancer and so he's still dealing with that but he, he's never really dealt with it but suddenly he starts dealing with it and um yeah he's divorced and all of that so yeah um i really don't think this is a really good novel i really didn't enjoy it at all i didn't, didn't understand the motivations completely by the character and how it ended up and yeah, uh, if you want to read any Richard Bachman novel so far, I will recommend uh, The Long Walk for sure. I think that's a lot better book than this one. I'd also say that Rage is good enough if you like. I don't, I didn't really enjoy the character, but still I thought it was a lot better than this book. Um, I really don't think that this was a well-written novel. And this is the first time I'm seeing this about a Stephen King book, so that's a little strange. So I end up on about a 2 out of 5 stars for this one. Um, and yeah, I would not recommend reading this if you... I would just skip it. 
I don't think you get much out of reading this one. The reason why I give it two stars is because, I, well, Stephen King is still a pretty great writer, so parts of it was interesting, but the majority of it I just didn't understand the main issue, like the plot of this. So yeah. Um, so that was the second book, and the third and final book that I finished over the past week was Midnight Frost by Jennifer Estep. This is a fifth book in the Mythos Academy, so I can't say a lot about the plot of this one because it's obviously it will obviously be spoilery, but. Um, I really enjoy this. The Mythos Academy is a sort of young adult series that follows um, Gwen Frost, who's a gypsy, and gypsies are part of the Greek mythology. And she goes to this place called Mythos Academy, and Mythos Academy is a place where they have both uh, Spartans, Valkyries, Amazons, so all of these warrior types um, from the different mythologies in the world. And they are all uh, trying to teach themselves how to beat these Reapers of Chaos who are trying to free Loki from imprisonment so that Loki can start Ragnarok. And you don't want... no one wants that, so yeah. Um, so this is basically a fight between those Reapers and the... all of the... or everyone else. And yeah, I have really been enjoying these books. Um, but I did, we, I like we were introduced to some new characters in this one, and I think that'll be a setup for the spin-off series that is following um, the Mythos Academy in Colorado, because we were at the Mythos Academy in Colorado. So I think we'll see something from those characters in that spin-off series, and I'll be looking forward to that. Um, but we also find some new in info about Gwen that I thought was really interesting, and so overall I enjoyed it and. The thing is, um, I don't think Jennifer Eastep is especially like the best writer in history because there's definitely some flaws to her writing, but because she has a tendency to say the same things multiple times over a book, um, sort of like the way she describes eye color is really strange and um, her gypsy magic, the gypsy, all of that, all the time. I'm like, yeah, you don't need to spend it so much time uh, with describing this again and again, but otherwise I think she's a really good at crafting a good story and having a funny, interesting story that is fast-paced and you don't really want to put it down. So for that I really enjoyed it and I end up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars and I'm looking forward to see how it all ends up in the sixth one and the big fight between her and Loki's champion, so that's gonna be fun, I think. And yeah. So those are the three books that I finished over the past week. I have also been working on three other books and will probably be hopefully finishing them up over the week. Actually, I haven't been working on this one, but I'm hoping still I will uh, put some progress, get some progress in this. And there's Pelham by Elinor McNeil. I thought that I would have read something today because I brought it along to a, a, a trip because I know I always wake up really early so I could read something in the morning. But we all woke up at the same time today because um, my brother's neighbors were like starting some garden work <laughs> with um, that was really loud and so that happened um, but otherwise it went well I think um, so instead we just all woke up and started watching a movie and eating some chips and drank colas yes we had a um, a Christmas party yesterday with a lot of snaps and beer and all of that so we are a little tired and a little a little hungover today so yeah that was a nice way of starting the day but I've only had like four hours of sleep so I'm really really tired and I guess that's why you can probably tell but one of the reasons why I haven't been making any progress in Pelham was because I received um, Wundersmith is Calling of Morrigan Crow and I started that and I'm about halfway through that now and I've really been enjoying being back in this world. I'm on page 164 chapter 11 right now and some things have definitely been happening and I'm very eager to see where it will take, um, where it will take us in the future of this book. Um, Morrigan has some troubles and issues um, and people are disappearing and I don't, I'm interested in seeing what will happen with that and yeah, I'm just really enjoying this and it's still still just as whimsical as the first one and I'm really enjoying seeing how Morgan is um, faring in this wondrous society and all of that, so that's been fun. On Friday I started on 
The Rose and the Dagger by Rene Adier, the second and final book in the Wrath and the Dawn duology. And I have read the first 163 pages, so I am also close to a halfway point uh, in this one. And this goes by pretty quickly. Um, we'll see when I finish it. I don't know if I'll be listening to anything today, but I definitely know I'll be listening over the week when I do stuff here. So, yeah. Um, I don't think that... I'll have any issues finishing this over the next week, so let's see if I don't do that. That is all I've been working on because on Monday I'm going to start a new audio because I finished Midnight Frost like on Friday when I went home. So we'll see which audio I pick up now. If I have time over the next week, I'd like to start on uh, Woman on the Edge of Time by March Piercy because this is a body reading, a group read of the Lady Vault group for this month and I haven't started it yet and it is... 400 pages book and sort of smallish so we'll see if I can manage to finish this over the week month but I am really eager to find out more about this I've never heard about this book before so but the thing is about the Lady Waltz it's about this is rediscovering some authors that was really popular at one point but has sort of been forgotten in this world amongst all of the SFF writers and so I think this is a good way of exploring some authors and hopefully I will really enjoy it. So it sounds really interesting and apparently has uh, some similarities to The Handmaid's Tale, which I haven't read but I've heard really many many great things about. So I hope I really will be sucked into the story and hopefully it will not be too grotesque and difficult to read. But these are the books that I'm planning on working on over the next week. And yeah, this is all I had for you today. Have you read any of the books? Definitely know about that in the comments down below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video very soon. Goodbye!